to build this website instead of HTML and CSS, I used Flutter and it's smooth and responsive. Today, I'll show you how to make a responsive UI like this in Flutter. And same technique you can use to make more complex design like that. Okay, that's the code of our registration page. So here inside the safe area, under a row, what we have, we have sign up benefits, that is that part. Then uh, another expanded with flex three, that's why this whole part take that much of space. Inside that we have already sign in button, that is that one, and our sign in from. So the page is pretty simple. You look at that, it's not responsive right now. So our goal is to make it responsive. Let's do it. For that, I'll create a responsive wizard. And that is this one. Here is my responsive wizard. At first, let's talk about this three static method. So it helps me to identify, is it mobile or tablet or desktop? It's pretty simple. I just add three breakpoint. If the width is less than 904, then I will call it is mobile, is more than 1218, then I will call it is desktop. You can customize as you need. And also you can directly use this responsive wizard. I'll explain another video on that part, but you'll get the idea, same with and everything. So now back to our registration page. not looks good here so what I want to do is here on expanded I want to do some is tablet I want to use expanded to do we need to remove the const now let's see now it looks much better look at this on larger screen, it looks like that. Once we have less space, the, now here it set the flex to two and it looks perfect. Nice. Here it not looks good because right now, let me show you screen size so that you can understand more. So here the screen width is less than 900. So it is on mobile. And what I really want is I want to hide that bird on mobile. So what I can say, responsive, yes. If it is not in mobile, then hide it. Voila, we are done. And there is one thing, the icon, I want that icon to be that place, whatever it is on. You can see on mobile or desktop, but if you can notice on mobile, there is nothing. So what we can do here, we have a row. Inside the row, we have a space here, then our sign-in uh, sign text here. So instead of, uh, we can replace the space with our core logo. So yes, it shows here as we want it, mm, but uh, okay. Now on tablet, it shows also here, but I don't need that. On mobile, I just want to sh show it here. So what we could say, responsive is mobile, sorry, is mobile. If it is mobile, then it shows our, our core logo, otherwise spacer is fine. Uh -huh. Nice, the problem is solved. Now on tablet or larger screen, it not shows. Okay, how you shrink up, shrink up. See, so I need a space or something. So let's see. Thing main axis alignment, space between. Yes, the problem is solved. Ta -ta -da. See how easy it is to make responsive UI in Flutter. And with the help of responsive, is it you can make any complex design responsive let me show you even that is the screen that is made responsive by that one look at this 
it doesn't matter how complex your UI is, you can make it responsive with this responsive wizard. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.